Welcome, beloved viewers, to this week's edition of Science and Spirituality, where we'll conclude our discussion with vegetarian psionic researcher Penny Andov about insights he's gained from crop circles and contacts with extraterrestrials regarding enormous changes he says our planet and humanity will experience at the end of 2012 and beyond. Mr. Andov has written a number of books regarding his work in this area. Uh, I have written uh, 2012 Nexus event, Unknown Form of Energy Comes Our Way, which I released in 2008 and it was uh, um, uh, read by more than 2 million people and uh, was explaining about uh, the conscious uh, uh, aspect of this approaching energy and how it will affect our DNA, our evolution and, uh, and uh, things about uh, that process. I also had written uh, a book Extraordinary Powers in Humans in 2007 which uh, deals with all the psionic trainings, how people need to meditate, what uh, they need uh, to concentrate and uh, uh, 18 astral traveling that I, I uh, experienced in contact with the extraterrestrial intelligences. This is the latest one which is called uh, uh, 2012 Equation Solved. Today, Mr. Randolph will address the preparations that he feels humankind has to make as the energy of our entire planet goes through a major vibrational shift into a higher level of consciousness. One of the most urgent steps that humans must take is to change to a plant-based diet. We don't need to consume uh, 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 meat or fish or anything that has a life force because we can exist on prana but we can still to vegetables and with this we will increase our frequency people need to change first thing is they need to realize that this world is uh, is uh, is a world that we sharing with other species and we have no right to to kill anything the, the first momentum is that people become vegetarians because every time when they consume uh, meat or fish, there is something definitely wrong going on. So that's that's one of the first momentum. We start uh, to change how we feed ourselves and uh, we change how we interact with other people and species. We have to respect nature to become one with the nature. The next step is to discover the potentials we have by understanding the psionics, research that can be defined as paranormal. Those abilities are common to every human being. At this particular moment we're operating only in 3% of the active genetic material. It's enough consciousness for you to see me, to hear me or to experience me and a certain uh, consciousness that you can experience the astral dimension in a form of lucid dreaming, out of the body experiences or let's say uh, near death experiences. That's all the double helix uh, functionality provides. Dioxyribonucleic acid, or DNA, is a human blueprint, a complex operating system consisting of nucleic acid that contains our genetic codes. According to scientists, the two active strands of DNA in humans, also known as the intertwined double helix, only represents 3% of our active DNA. The other 97% contained in the additional 10 strands of DNA present in each human lies dormant within us. Some say that if we fully activate this 97% of unused DNA, the double helix DNA turns into a 12-strand DNA, which can awaken a wide range of capabilities and divine powers within us. The potential is there. Nature never creates uh, anything without reason. This genetic material is all our other abilities that we have and all our subtle bodies that we have because we are a consciousness intelligent life form that is capable of multidimensional presence but in order 
to, to go different places in the universe which uh, it's, uh, it has different densities and different speed of vibration, it needs a suitable vehicle or suitable subtle body that matches the, uh, with the density and with the speed of vibration of that particular dimension. I cannot use this body if I want to express myself into the astral dimension. I have to use my astral body which is far finer than this one and the speed of vibration is, is higher. But if I want to go into the further dimensions uh, away from the astral dimension, I have to use even finer body than the astral body. So this is what we need to understand. This is what psionic is all about, understanding that we are consciousness. Together with my wife, we were exploring more than 3,000 Asian temples and images trying to extract what Asians had left for us how they were meditating. So every uh, 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 conclusion that we, we realized is that they were able to join their energy. That's the same what the extraterrestrials passed to me. The good is separated on thousands of places. When we overcome that and we come to the point that connects us all, we can, we can make a connection. And the force comes from the unity. We need to contact the spiritual leaders that have disciples. We have to unite them into groups and organize group meditations. As Mr. Randolph explained last week, there is something called a cosmic jet that was ejected by a supermassive black hole at the center of the Milky Way 26,000 years ago, which is spreading a gigantic energy wave throughout the galaxy. From researching crop circles, Mr. Andoff concludes this energy burst is set to hit the sun at the end of 2012, causing it to enter what is called a red giant phase. From studying crop circles, he has concluded that during this phase, the sun will expand enormously, swallowing up Mercury and Venus, and thus coming very close to Earth. He believes our planet will remain safe if we take action now, namely humanity adopting a plant-based lifestyle and practicing meditation together. Thirty years of crop circle match messages are informing us, warming us, that there is an explosion that took place in the Milky Way core a long time ago. And that there is an energy that is spreading towards the edges of the galaxy. This energy was recorded by equipment that was launched into space and this energy is going to pass uh, us on 23rd December 2012. From the genuine crop circles, they are uh, telling us that we have to uh, be aware or pay attention to so-called geometrical uh, form known as seed of life and flower of life with the star tetrahedron in it, which is nothing more than isolator of the charge. So if this force field is created, the extraterrestrials are saying that Earth will actually be spared. So just picture this, when the energy will come, it will change the fundamental dynamic of the sun. And when the outer layer will expand, it will produce temperatures, thousands and thousands of degrees. The luminosity will go higher at least 1,000 times. The radiation will be extreme. They are saying that if we build this force field in the flower of life, a geometry around planet, by our combined effort, this planet will survive by combining energy. And the only known tool to me is meditation. Massive group global meditation where millions of people can unite into one meditative oneness and they can impact the, the, the fundamental structure of, of Earth. Individually, people need to understand how to create their own flower of life force field in their aura with the star tetrahedron in the center and this needs to be done globally, planetary. Many people are new to the meditation and this requires a practice and it takes a time until they create that spheres in their, in their auras. The time is very very short but there is a part of humanity that is waking up and those numbers are coming and growing all the time, every day. And I believe that we will do it. We just need to push it to the higher gear and create and manifest. Just like every other form of physical matter, the human body has an energy field around it that can be affected by natural phenomena such as radiation from the sun. 
It is thus possible that any sudden change in an energy system, for example through an enormous energy wave, will cause transformations in a biological system. When this energy hit, it has enough potential to mutate DNA. All that 97% of DNA will be reactivated, which means all the memory from the past lives, past incarnations, will be regained again with all the knowledge how the cosmos works and with all the powers of the consciousness will become functional again and that's that's the nexus that the power of the god or the creator himself and that's what we are waiting for and that's what the Asians had been counting as the end of this cycle it's an evolution of the humankind at the moment we are going through the process of mutation. Recently the scientists discovered that there are new particles that sun ejecting, not detected before in the past. And in our biological bodies we have eight radioactive elements. Particles are coming from the sun and they're influencing those radioactive elements in our physical bodies. And we are already mutating. The consciousness is awakening, is getting information from the sun and the sun is getting the information of the galactic core because everything is conscious. This is the beauty of it. The more we will go towards the end of the cycle, the more energy uh, will come in increased amounts and it will change the mutation even further. Here are some parting thoughts from Mr. Andov. This energy that is coming is not something that people need to fear. It's our ticket out of here, it's our evolution, and that's where the evolution is actually taking us. So it will all the forgotten memories, as we discussed, will be uh, uh, regained again with all the powers of consciousness and understanding of the universe. So, in other words, we will soon experience a cosmic existence, what we truly are. So I'm looking forward for the time when this wave of energy approaches. Our appreciation, Mr. Pene Andov, for sharing your remarkable insights on the symbolism of crop circles and your knowledge about the year 2012. As suggested by yourself and many spiritual groups, let us all gather together now to meditate daily for the well-being of our planet, as well as embrace plant-based foods for our nourishment. For more details on Mr. Andov, please visit www.peneandov.com. DVDs and ebooks by Mr. Randolph, including 2012 Equation Solved, are available on the same website. Bright viewers, thank you for your company today on Science and Spirituality. Words of Wisdom is coming up next after Noteworthy News. May all beings be united in the name of love. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash SS. SS.